Hey guys, I am back. It's been about two weeks since my last upload, which got a million review, uh, views. Just kidding, not like zero. But, doesn't matter. This is back to Geometry Dash. Now, here's the difference between what's going to happen now and what happened before. See guys, before, before I, uh, when I played this game, I purposely would not get mad on camera. I would stay calm, collect, and all that boring shit. I would stay fine and I wouldn't get pissed off. If you knew me at all, and never played Xbox, any kind of game with me at all, do you know that I am like the epitome of a rage quit? I have not only just quit games and Call of Duty, but our, our Battlefield or Halo, whatever, I have broken controllers. I don't mean like, you know, throwing them against the ground, I mean taking them and smashing them like a hammer against the carpet and until part of it breaks and I put them back together and like, you know, redo. I am unfortunately known for my terrible temper and so I, I always tell myself, well don't show that on camera, don't, don't let your viewers see that. No, let them see that, that's the true me. I am truly a guy who like, do, gets mad over stupid things. I'll say it now. now just so you guys know, this game, I'm terrible at this game. This game is literally impossible for me. I, I don't have the reflexes or whatever, or whatever you want to call it, to do this kind of game. So, I figured to prove to you guys that I have a bad temper by playing a game that makes me have a bad temper. If I play Fire to Play, is it clicking? It's clicking. Fire to Play! Woo! Mm. Boom, boom, booty. Boom, boom. Whoa, what's up? Can't. Beat. Shit. Boom. You jumped over the fucking spiral. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, so far I'm calm and collect. Be the fuck you. Ask any of my friends that have played with me in Call of Duty. I will kick anyone's ass in that game. Oh, I thought I missed that. I thought I hit the spike, so I didn't. God damn it. Uh, but it comes to these kind of games, I have no skill at all. I thought I might get a timing, but it's not one of my strong skills. I'm not bad at it. I don't say I'm not good enough about it to play this game. It's really sad. Me playing Mario is terrible. Like, normal, like, you know, Super Mario World, it's the worst thing ever. I don't have the reflexes to side scroll and jump. I, I just. I, maybe I don't know what to really call that. It's just. Like, I guess maybe, like, attention span? I don't know. I, it just sucks. It's not a, not a combination. Okay. Come on, you. bitch. Boom, 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 boom! I jumped in the last circuit, you cock sucker sheep. Concentrate. Da, da! Hit the fucking mouse. Apparently, you do have to click on the. Okay. You have to click when the spiral is there, or it won't work. I thought maybe you could just go into it and let you jump. I was wrong. Why'd you jump? Why'd you do it again, you fucker? Fuck! You fucking bitch. God damn it, fuck you. Oh, Jesus.
Well, this is fucking awesome. No, I once thought I should make making va- oh. I was thought making vines. I actually made a vine. My only vine I've ever made. God, so good. Oh, Jesus. And, uh, I was- I think I was on a film with, like, Bright House, but that a Comcast. Some bullshit company about something I was wrong with my internet. And, um, and I was talking to him, and I was going to say, hey, he was hold for one minute, so, no, 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 it's four, we gotta speak to him. And I was on hold for, like, 30 minutes. And the music, you know, when you're on hold, it's, a, it's like oven music. It's not amazing, but it's catchy. So I started, like, dancing to it. I was like, and, and, and the value title was set out when the hold, holding music is, is really good or something like that. And it sees, it sees me, like, like, you know, a small little video of me just dancing to the music. I like 13 loops, I like, like 5 minutes. God! Shit! Come on, you're right fucking there! Come on, here. Woo! Why'd you jump? Why'd you jump, you cock sucking whore? God! Shit. You know, it's funny, um... After everyone in the, in the, now in the audience has watched, like, a series and cried because of the series, you know, like, watched it and cried at the end of it or whatever, or cried when the character dies. But, if you guys ever, like, gone back and watched the same... Like, I, I am a giant lover of The Office. The Office is my favorite show. It's, it's by far, to me, one of the best not only comedies, but it also installs emotion into the thing. It's not only just, oh, it's Michael Scott, he's funny, it's, it's you know, John Glinsky or Emma Fisher, it's funny. It's Jenna Fisher, it, it's funny. It's, 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 it's the fact that all these characters get along so well, and the fact that it's like a chemistry between all of them, and if you're like, you know, you watch like Arrow with that, or you watch like Smallville, you know, about like, DC's uh, superheroes, or I guess you can't, you can't Green Arrow's superhero, uh, and you want you're like, oh, I wish I had Billy the Dollar, like, like Oliver Queen, wish I had, you know, Clark's, Clark's, you know, ability, you know, all this, you see all these, wish I had all these things, because you watch these amazing movies or whatever, or, or radio, or, or uh, TV shows. But one thing that I really wish I had, it's not the Billy the Dollar that Oliver Queen had, it's not the super strength or the that Superman has like that. It's the fact I, I want a relationship like Jim and Pam have. Good God, that yeah. Watch the series from season one to nine. It, even even you know smile through season four and credits through season eight. But watch it, and you will see how special Jim and Pam's relationship is. There's no denying. There's not even a chance to say, "Oh, that's not real. That's not real love." That shit is real love. That's what I want in a relationship right there. That is amazing. Anyone's ever watched even an excerpt of The Office knows what I'm talking about. New best, cool. I don't know what the fuck that was. Knows what I'm talking about. It is. Oh my god. I, I can't even begin to explain how awesome it is and how much shit they go through just to, just to get together. You know, just to become one uh, relationship. It's amazing, to say the least. Boom, 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 boom. Better, 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 better fuck me hard. Yeah. Uh. And, oh, the office is like my child. My child was that awesome. That you had a kid in the first place. But seriously, that, I mean, I, I know every episode of The Office. Like, no, I'm kidding. You were there! You... Oh! Well, balls to you two. Um, I've watched season 1 through 9, I've watched 
Oh, the worst thing, not the worst thing, the most emotional thing besides the actual final, the finale episode. It's funny, um, god, of course right now I can't remember the guy who created The Office in the first place. Um, during the last reading of the script, you know, the tail reading of the, of, the, of the finale episode, and, god, what's his name? Greg Ryan or something like that, or Greg something, damn. And he says, uh, says, so guys, this is the last episode. I'm really going to call the finale because the writer ran out of ideas to call things. And just small little jokes. And you see them, you hear about the, like, cheer up because it, this is... Uh, you guys might not realize how, how, you know, how emotional it is, not only for the, uh, us as audience, but also for the cast members itself. Think about it. If you spent nine years of your life, almost almost ten years, actually, probably, if you count, I'm not really sure but how long it's really been for them. And... Even for myself, like Harry Potter or for Lord of the Rings, those long trilogies that last for a long time and all that stuff, those guys can become your family. And not only that, but that's your job. That that was literally like where they went every day of their lives. They, they would go each day and they would go, they would go, you know, do, you know, they would go act, whatever, and then whatever after that. But that's where they go every day. And then all of a sudden, this is it. This is the last time they'll ever venture into the office. They were actually going to venture into that one stage to do that last to do a scene. This is the last frame of a nine year long running series that has won Emmys and Oscars, I think. All these Emmys are much about Oscars, but another one of these. And it is that it deserves it. It does. There's no doubt in my mind that they deserve amazing things. And People always say, well, season one is really boring, season two is okay, season three is better, but season four is the best. Season five, again, just like season three, it's okay, but not perfect. Season six, pretty good. Season seven, eh. Season eight, though. Season eight was the worst, what people say. It was the worst one of all of them. It was just, Michael Scott was gone, and it just, it just crumbled. And then season nine kind of, kind of redeemed it, kind of became okay again. But to me, season eight actually was pretty good. Not that it was, not that it was amazing, but it was good because there were certain parts of it I really liked. I liked I came all with the Florida, where I actually live in Florida, uh, and it was just I don't know, like just what happened there was cool. And not that I loved it, but it wasn't as bad as people say it was. God, fucking shit. Oh my god. Um, okay. Let's do it with me. One, two, three. 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 Right in the fucking spikes. One, two, three. 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 Four, five, one, two, three, four, and the spike. Ha, 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 you jumpy motherfucker. 13 minutes long. Okay, you know what, fuck it. I'm done. I'm done. I'd say that was actually was fun, but I'd be lying to you. That was not fun at all. That was the complete opposite of fun. Fuck that game. I'm done. Uh, thank you for watching, as always. Have a, a wonderful night. Day, I guess. This should go up tonight. So, tonight being March 16th. So, if this comes up tomorrow, happy St. Patty's Day. Please, please do one thing for me. As a 19 year old, there's one thing I cannot do on St. Patrick's Day, which is drink. So please, drink for me too. Drink double, just for me. But do responsibly. You know? I don't, I don't want you tomorrow morning waking or, or Wednesday, Wednesday morning making it up next to it, thanks to it too. You know, guys. Do responsibly, please. Come on. I'm just kidding. You get the point, though. Have fun. Be responsible. As always. Especially tomorrow. Stay silky, YouTube.